Okay. Once you download the uh, WordPress um, on a Mac, it'll automatically extract it, FTP this into your uh, public HTML directory. So when you first open your cPanel file manager, um, right here, it'll take you to this, for the most part, unless you change the settings. Um, you just double click the public HTML and this is where you would upload your uh, WordPress install, so you have a folder. So anyway, so once we have the folder there, we have our files inside of that WordPress directory, and you can rename it to whatever your domain is going to be. Then you go back over here to the, the cPanel, scroll down here to MySQL databases, and we're going to name this database something. So we're just going to call it database. Double click that, I'm going to copy it, create that database. Okay, and that's created. And then I'm going to go down here and I'm going to name this the same database one. Oh, database. Okay, let me delete this one because I really wanted to uh, want to keep them in unison. And WordPress is pretty pretty good for just picking whatever. You can do whatever you want with it. I'll just actually call it database. I'll create that. Okay, that's fine. Scroll down here a little data base. Well, that's no good. Delete that. D. Data. One. Okay, good enough. Alright, should be short enough now. Data. One. Good. Um, I picked this password generator. Copy that. Use that. Yes, I have copied it. Use that. And then I'll create the user. Okay. Then I'm going to tie the two together. So data goes to data. And then add. And then all privileges. Make changes. Go back. Now, whatever the uh, base directory for this is, which is this, I'm just going to actually go to my pack, paste that in there. Um, I think this is the domain. I'm going to maybe put a new tab, paste that domain in there, and then slash WordPress. Okay, we'll have this the first time we try it. So we create a configuration file. We already have the database name and all the rest of that stuff. So okay, let's go. So the database name, or what was it again? <laughs> okay, yeah, I'll just go get it. Database name is that. The username is the same. I've got this crazy password. It's good, good, strong password. Okay, localhost, that's fine. We should name the table something other than WP. It should randomly generate this as well. WordPress should. That may be something they work on in the future. It would complicate things, so that's why they leave it like that. So um, I'm just going to name it DT. Okay. On the install. All right, that's it. WordPress is installed. We just got to title it something. WordPress. Username, don't use admin. I'm going to use my name, password. I'm just going to type in the password. That's fine, that's my own little thing. Type in an email. And for now, I'm going to actually uncheck that because this isn't where we're going to leave this WordPress install. We're obviously going to uh, move it someplace else. Now what happens is that as soon as we've assigned a domain to this, okay, let's say for example, I'll save that. Let's say for example we're going to use an add-on domain. We've purchased an add-on domain and I'm going to point it to that folder. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here to add-on domains. I'm going to click that. I'm going to put domain.com, whatever it is, and then you see how it populates that? Well, I'm going to take this out and I'm going to type in the, that folder, right? In this case, it's WordPress. And it, yeah, it should auto complete kind of like that. Select that. Yeah, this is actually, I'll use that same crazy password because it's you're never really going to use this. This is for the FTP access, right? So, you know what I mean? FTP username. So, you put a crazy name in there, that's fine. And then add on that domain. Okay? Then, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to the dashboard of the WordPress install that's under this crazy thing, right? 
I'm going to go to the settings, general, and this is where, right here, I'm going to replace that with http colon slash slash www dot domain dot com. Domain dot dot com. Okay, I'm going to double click that, triple click it actually, three, two, three. Okay, so that's what it's going to look like. Now, a lot of, I've, I, you see this all the time where it has the slash over that. Don't put that into WordPress. Into the back end, you don't put the slash. It'll automatically put slashes in via permalinks. So we don't want to put the slashes there. Then we hit save. I'm not going to save it right now because I'm going to need access to this because obviously I don't own domain.com. But that's how we point. And then when the domain resolves to this, it's already looking for that domain. So that's how you install WordPress um, into a subfolder of your site and then add, add on domain and tie the two together. Okay, hope you enjoyed the video and I hope it helps.